Hi friends, welcome to our YouTube channel. If you came to our YouTube channel for first time, please make sure to subscribe our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit bell icon. And share if you feel like these lectures are valuable for you, you can share this to your recipe circle as sharing is a caring. So in today's session, we will discuss blanket purchase order, blanket purchase agreement, call of order, framework order. It's its name. So don't confuse with that. That's a blanket purchase order, blanket purchase agreement, call call of order and framework order. So first of all, let me see what's a blanket purchase order. So blanket purchase order is a long term agreement between a business and a supplier to purchase a set of amounts of goods or services over a period of a time. Like, let's suppose companies just require to purchase some uh, stationary item for one year. So what they will do, they will just create a blanket purchase order for a uh, time span of a one year or two year, whatever it is, they are going to create a blanket purchase order and they will fix a limit like uh, 10,000, 50,000, 1 lakh, whatever it is. So if companies required same service or same uh, material, they need to purchase that again and again on regular basis. So they just do what? they just create a blanket purchase order for that so blanket purchase orders are often used when a business need to purchase the same item on a regular basis right so generally it's used by company for services and consumable material like if company just want to purchase some material that they just want to consume directly they don't want to store that they uh, don't want to uh, store that material they just directly want to consume that so in that case, and they just required that again and again, that uh, material or service, then they just create a blanket purchase order for that, right? So how we are going to create a blanket purchase order? By using same T code ME21 and we are going to create that blanket purchase order and document type in that case will be FO, like uh, whenever you just create a standard purchase order, document type is NB. But here document type in framework order will be FO, right? So what are the configuration steps? We will discuss that. But before that, let me give some examples, some practical examples of a blanket purchase order. Right? So a blanket purchase order, blanket purchase agreement, call of order or framework order. So let's suppose a uh, company is required some material like he is uh, working in a store, he is a store guy and he just required, uh, there's a company just required uh, the material like a stationary item or it can be anything. The regular basis we just required a consumable material. So what we will do, we will just create a blanket purchase order. That store guy will create a blanket purchase order and it it will mention in blanket purchase order we used to mention validity period like from january 1 to december 31st it can be any any like validity can be there like one month two month three month one year two year validity we have to mention there and limit like up to uh, ten thousand or one lakh or two lakh or three lakh whatever limit we just want to set for that we are going to set for that then we can create an invoice let's suppose we just consume that material uh, right so we will create a invoice for that so invoice will be like invoice will be like in, in that case in blanket purchase order we don't create gr goods received we don't create we don't create service entry seat right we don't create rfq any rfq we don't create we don't create any uh, agreement like uh, a contract we don't create we directly create a blanket purchase order and we directly create uh, then then we directly do the invoicing right once we will create a blanket purchase order for limit and validity then we will just directly do an invoice for that right so that's a blanket purchase order and for single blanket purchase order we can create so many times invoice uh, like n number of times we can create an invoice for that same blanket purchase order like uh, in first time like we just consume uh, we just required a, a material for 8000 so we will directly do an invoice for 8000 then we just required a material for 1000 value material service then we will just do invoicing for 1000 like that right 
so it's like, like invoice one uh, on february 3rd and 9 december we just created another invoice like that we can do right one more example here so blanket purchase order you can see here here we just created a pu purchase order we just included a validity in that like from january 1st to 31st of december and limit we just put like a one lag right and invoice invoice first first we just do a invoice on january 15 then we did an invoice on february 3rd like three invoice we just done on february 3rd on december 19 we just do two more invoice like that we can do i will also show like uh, with a single blanket po how we can create uh, like uh, three invoice four invoice five invoice how we can create that we will see that in configuration step right so that's important like if we just do a procurement through blanket purchase order if we just do a procurement by blanket purchase order what's the cycle what's the cycle for that so we just create a purchase requisition it's also not mandatory document you already know purchase requisition is not a mandatory so if we just want to create we can create otherwise we directly create a blanket po and then directly we do invoice right we don't uh, do goods received we don't do service we don't create service entry seat right we don't create any rfq any quotation we don't create and we don't create any contract or scheduling agreement that's also don't we, we don't create in blanket purchase order like so much of documents are reduced we directly create a PO and we directly do invoice for that so that's a blanket purchase order so we will come again to that so first we discuss configuration step so what will be the configuration step so in the same um, t code me21n we are going to create a blanket purchase order and first step is we are going to create a vendor master record if you are using ecc they just just use a t code xk01 but if uh, you are using s4 hana then use a bp t code bp so that's the single difference uh, the, then you are going to create a blanket po that's same in both ecc and s4 hana so you just use a t code me21n so let me show you right so we are going to create a purchase order like we already have a vendor or supplier we already have a material otherwise if you don't have metal master record and vendor master record just create a vendor master record and metal master record and in s4 hana t code is bp and in ecc it's xk01 so i'm directly going to create a purchase order right so first of all what i need to do here you can see nb standard po so nb all you know as nb is a document type for standard purchase order so what i'm going to do i'm going to change that to framework order right so framework order fo so fo you can see here document type for framework order or blanket purchase order is fo so that's also a interview question and in global certification also it's used to be asked in uh, like uh, uh, I, I, I have seen that question like what's the document type for framework order or blanket purchase order so that's a fo so here i will just give a vendor purchase org purchase group company code and here i need to give uh, like a date validity start and validity end so validity start because the system is saying enter validity start once we were creating a standard purchase order we need not to provide that validity start and validity end date but here we need to provide that so validity start i will just give today's date 17 and i will just give a validity for this month only you can give for complete one year you can give two year three year whatever you want to give you can give so here So here we will 
गिव अकाउंट असाइनमेंट कैटेगरी के कॉ सेंटर इट्स नॉट अ मैंडेटरी डेटा बट आई एम गिविंग कॉ सेंटर हेयर एंड आइटम कैटेगरी आई एम जस्ट गिविंग बी फॉर लिमिट सो बी and i need to i need not to give a material i need not to give a material here directly i will give a sort text here so i will just give a consumable material 03 like that i will create okay i will give a sort text i need not to create a metal master record in that case right directly just create a vendor or bp business partner right vendor or supplier using t code bp and uh, when if you are using s4 hana if you are using ecc then you can use xk01 you just need to use xk01 right so quantity let me give one net price let me put that blank plant material group so that's a mandatory data so let me take 001 now check maintain service or limit okay so here i need to maintain a limit so let's suppose i am giving 10000 here right expected value also i can give same or different so i i will give same expected value right so if you will just uh, select this check box no limit then there will be no limit you can create for unlimited uh, like value for unlimited value you can create but we will just give a limit right just go to invoice so first we have to first we have to give these uh, value like gl account 4 lakh cost center krip so uh, you need to create a cost center first and uh, you need to assign a gl account on for that so you can see my cost center video i have already made a video on that concept cost center how to configure cost center so just give your cost center hit enter yes so tax code i will give here just so someone have change tax here so let me change that first so i will use t code spro i have to change that in back end first someone just change that standard data So in financial accounting, yeah, here you can see tax on sale and purchase, basic setting, check calculation procedure, assign country to calculation procedure. So in India. that you need not to do okay that's not uh, steps for blanket purchase order but someone just change standard data so i'm just changing that now what i need to do i will just give tax code here so not perfect m7 let me give 10% tax that's a 10% tax so check okay m5 let me check i have to do one thing i have to create that again like i have to come out once then i need to do that yeah so let me again give that values framework order document type vendor purchase group company code additional data account assignment category cost center item category 
short text quantity plant and check so group i need to mention here material group or service group so check enter i need to give a limit here so same i am giving and hit enter then here i need to give a gl account cost center hit enter now go to invoice tab and here now if i will try then it's not creating any issue or any error system is not throwing any error so check and save so you can see here framework order created under the number this that that's a sign like i just created a framework order or blanket purchase order so let me copy this purchase order number and directly i will do what i will directly do invoice verification miro so here in miro t code i will give company code so that's my company code hit enter and you can see in notes i have mentioned each and every step so here you need to give these values vendor validity start validity end everything is mentioned in uh, pictorial form so that's how you need to do that right now next step is create invoice verification so t code is miro so in miro what i need to give this date invoicing date so today's date i can give here and here i will select po reference and here i will give my purchase order number hit enter and here i will give tax but before that let me give baseline uh, deadline date baseline date so let me give any date here after uh, that uh, invoice date and i need to give all these details right so first let me uh, change from here my tax so my tax type is uh, m7 i guess so m7 and you can see still it's showing zero here so in that blanket purchase order invoicing for that blanket purchase order i need i need to keep in mind like layout must be invoice reduction first and here manually here manually i need to give that value that amount right so edit what i am doing i just created a blanket purchase order for 10000 limit so what i am doing i am just doing for amount for 1000 right and hit just uh, click on check right here it's all came and just go back now you can see it's came here now i will just now i will just uh, click on this check box calculate tax now it's calculated and tax amount is 100 so i will just give here 1100 that total value this 1100 and just hit enter now it become zero balance become zero and now it's green that means no error is there so i can go to simulate and i can save this right you can see here uh, vendor amount 1100 consumption uh, grir account 1000 and tax 100 so let me post that it's posted right i just created like purchase blanket purchase order once i created invoice uh, verification in miro right i created invoice in miro using t code miro uh, for value 1000 i just created if i want to create again for that same purchase order can i do that yes i can do that let's suppose po reference that same purchase order number hit enter and here i need to in account assignment i need to click on edit and here let me give for 5000 can i do that yes i can do that hit enter check 
go back go to basic data tab and here select your tax code so that's t5 that's m7 right you can see here also and click that checkbox calculate tax now you need to give here value 5500 hit enter it's turned to zero and it's turned to green simulate and post i created for single purchase order i created twice in uh, in invoicing i created twice so invoice i created twice like that if i want to create one more time yes i can create why because i just created uh, twice uh, like once i created for 1000 value another time i created for 5000 value so total 6000 is still 4000 is remaining from our limit so i can create invoice again until it's reached 10000 right so let me give this po reference number here so this is a reference hit enter baseline base line date hit enter and here manually i need to give that so click on edit let's suppose i'm just giving for 5000 value let me check i can do that or not hit enter just see what system is throwing a pop-up message value exceeds limit 10,000 so we just took a 10,000 limit in our PO and value is exceeded for from that but if I will try to do with 4,000 I can do that now see system is not throwing any pop-up error or message so just check and go back and just select tax from here Calculate tax. Give here four thousand four hundred. Enter. Simulate. And save. So that's created. Now, if I just want to check that in ME twenty three N, let me check. To display purchase order. Click on this other purchase order and give your purchase order number here and if I just go to purchase order history you can see in invoice received you can see three document metal document number are there right but and there is no GR document here directly invoice document is uh, is, is available there and now total value is 10,000 right 4,000 5,000 and 1,000 total value 10,000 so you can see in purchase order history and in header tab in status also ordered 10,000 delivered zero because we didn't done Miko still to deliver is also zero invoice is done for 10,000 amount right so you that's how you can create a blanket purchase order and how you can create an invoice for that so that's a concept of blanket purchase order its business use all we have discussed now we will discuss some of interview questions and global certification question in that so uh, in blanket purchase order new item category is there and new order type is there because in blanket purchase order order type is fo validity period in header of purchase order that's a mandatory data but in a standard purchase order we never uh, give that validity period limits is also mandatory here and here we and like material number is not required if you have observed i didn't give any material number i directly gave a description material description right no goods receipt or service entry seat is required we have discussed about that account assignment type is allowed yes we just took account assignment as a cost center k so that's allowed here accounting data for the item suggested in an invoice additional or multiple accounts assignment possible for invest verification we have seen that validity period and limit checked in invoice verification so that's also available right what's the advantage of a blanket purchase order 
so there is a low transaction cost because we need not to maintain so many documents and uh, like uh, uh, every time we need not to maintain so many documents and it's also consuming time it's also uh, consume like it's it's also uh, due to that low transaction cost cost is there because we need not to perform so many transactions like we need not to do rfq we need not to create a gr document service entry sort uh, service entry sheet document so low transaction cost is there so these have a longer validity period of a time you can give a one year two year validity three year validity you can give like that you do not require a purchase order for individual procurement transaction like individually you need not to create a purchase order again and again no goods received or entry of service is performed so that's also important right you do not have to specify a material number so that's also a global certification question everyone is a one liner global certification question so from every one liner a global certification question can be formed and that's also a favorite topic for sap in a global certification exam account assignment can be defined in a purchase order but it's not mandatory so that's also correct account assignment and multiple account assignment can be changed invoice verification yes validity period and limit are checked in invoice verification that's also correct they are linked with a budget control so that these all are the advantage of a blanket purchase order now new item type b for blanket purchase order we need to give if you have observed like in item category i just give i just uh, took b for limit right new purchase order type document type fo instead of a nb like in standard purchase order we used to take nb but here we just took fo you can use blanket purchase order to procure consumable material or services for which it's not worth creating a separate purchase order for each procurement transaction so whenever like it's not worth creating a separate purchase order again and again we just create a blanket purchase order as simple as that blanket purchase orders are usually valid for a longer period of a time you can directly post a invoice for material and services procured for this blanket purchase order right so thank you that's about that and so in summary uh, what we can say like blanket purchase order we create like we just required that material again and again and it's not worth to create a purchase order every time so what we do we just create a blanket purchase order for that material or services for example uh, stationary item like pen diary every time we can't create a po for that na so what we do we just create a blanket purchase order and whenever we receive we just do an invoicing for that and payment is just done so and steps are like create a bp or vendor Uh, like a vendor we just create vendor or supplier using t code bp and xk01 in ecc and bp in s4 hana then what we have discussed we have discussed like in me21 and document type for blanket purchase order we just take fo and here that validity is mandatory right so then we can create a blanket po and then we directly do invoice invoicing for that and we don't create any quotation rfq we don't create any gr or service entry sheet we don't create any agreements like outline agreement contract we don't create we directly do create a po and then we just create a gr uh, invoicing we just create a invoice document for that so that's a framework order or blanket purchase order if you have any question you guys can ask to me in a comment section so i will definitely answer to that so you can ask to me in a comment section and thank you thanks a lot for staying up to last so thanks a lot may god bless you all